hey guys welcome to the second video in the series of videos for regular expression in this video we'll look into character classes so let's begin with dot what dot matches to is any character except slash n and r for example i have a string something okay and then i'm matching it with dot so dot here matches with very first character if i give global then it matches with any character and what it can be used for is for example i am saying c so it will match cv and cv as you can see so dot can be used in front or at the end of the string that you want to match let's move on to slash d slash d matches any numeric characters for example i have something like this and then i am matching slash t matches that character so in this case it matched the first character out of this uh, regular expression i need to give g to match every digit and if i do uh, capital d it will do the opposite of small d so it will match everything except 09 similar is the case with w for example i am giving w over here so it will match everything out of these a to z small caps and then 0 to 9 and underscore and if i give capital w so except that it will match everything in this case uh, the space is there next one is slash s slash s matches any white space inside your string so in this case let's see small s so it matches any white space including tab feed character line feed uh, like space suppose slash n and all that takes your uh, control to the next line and similarly uh, if you go for capital s it will match everything except white space so small and caps is like voice versa thing and then let's move on to slash t slash t matches any tab inside your string for example i just put a tab over here so that tab is matched by t moving on to the next one that is literal or inverse interpretation what it does is for example you have any string and then you're matching something like let's say fs so it matches this so in case you okay let's say you're matching s so in case you want to use s not as a character but as a character class like this slash s so this will let you escape that so now it will have the special meaning and if you will have a space inside it that will be matched and it works vice versa as well so for example i'm using this asterisk sign asterisk in a uh, regular expression is a special character that says zero or more occurrences of the earlier character for example in this case it says zero or more occurrences of s and if i'm applying the global flag it gives us fs and f so zero or more occurrences of s and in case i want to match literal asterisk so i need to use that slash so this will only match if you have uh, fs and then star in this case okay now let's move on to the next one that is utf 16 what that does is that lets you match any unicode character in your string for example i'm using some string and then matching a unicode character inside it u so let's see what's the value for s small as here yeah. it's 0073 so i'll use 0073 so it will match that as so it lets you match the unicode character and in this case where we use curly braces we need to use the unicode global flag only then it will match we need to use unicode over here okay otherwise it will not match let's move on to the next page so slash b in this case matches the backspace character actually backspace characters and stuff like many of stuff in this page e were used in earlier days and most of these are not being used currently for example if you do let's say sum and then type backslash p and then another 
so what this should do is this should delete e because slash b is a backslash and som some so e and this dot shouldn't be there but this is not the case so why we have this dot because some uh, interfaces display these special characters differently just to let you know that there is a special character inside it so it matches this backslash so i don't think you will require this you will require to match this in any place but there might be older people who might have used it earlier so and one thing to remember to never use the this backslash b without the square braces otherwise it will mean a different thing that is the boundary that is another part of these regular expression that we'll talk about in another tutorials so this returns that slash b character out of your string and kind of similar cases with zero so if i'm using slash zero over here we have this null thing over here that will not match with uh, space you might think that but it will not match with space because that is a null character it will match with zero only let's move on to the next one that is control character so what control character is it is a special non-printing character that begins modifies or ends a string so in javascript you can use control characters from a to z this site has given a table for the same so here are a to z control characters and what they uh, denote for example h denotes backspace and similarly this denotes line feed so you can use these control characters as well and you can use hexadecimal digits as well so actually there are multiple ways to match the same thing yes so for example in this case i am matching slash n with this control character and then this hexadecimal digit and then with normal slash n so all of these three matches the same okay so then it comes to the personal preference what you want to use what you are more comfortable with so let's move on to the next ones that are f r n and v so these are actually helpful while printing for form fit go uh, the printer goes to the next page and vertical tab is used to give vertically more spacing between lines and stuff like that so this is kind of legacy stuff that is there for backward com compatibility and i don't think you'll ever need to use these except slash n is currently being used in many places. I guess that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next one.